Hey YouTube, this is Archangel. Um, I wanted to show you guys some new equipment that I've got. Um, yesterday I got in a new high door Seltz L20 right there. This is going to be powering my auto top off. I'm sit in my bucket, pump water directly to my sump whenever it gets low via float switch activation. And second, I got this new Hexarch Blue 14,000K metal headlight lamp. It is made by Phoenix. And um, today I'm going to show you how to change out the lamp inside the BioCubes HQI fixture. Alright, let's take this step by step. So I'm going to put the camera down here, put the glass on top of my tank so I can put the camera on top of it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the height so it makes it easier to work work with over here. Lock it back into place, brought it higher. Let's see if I could put this camera here. Leave it right there for now. And take off the side piece. Okay, plastic pops out first. And the metal grill. Okay. So, you can see we have the... Uh, glass shield in there, so that glass shield has to come out first. So let's go ahead and take that out. I'm going to go ahead and clean this in a minute. It's got a little bit of salt on there. Um, one thing you want to make sure you do is turn the power off on your ballast. So I just did that. Make sure there's no electricity in there. Even though the light is off. Um, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the old light bulb. I'm going to use my handy dandy sock to grab it without putting any of my oily fingerprints on it. So, just push one side in. Okay. Move this metal piece over. That's it. Now I'm gonna take use this light bulb. I'm gonna save it as a backup just in case something happens to the old bulb. You know, it's still good for now. For what I want it to do. I mean, it is old, but um, I'm gonna keep it as a backup just in case. So I'm gonna take out the new light bulb now. Okay. You take it out of the box, it comes in this little nifty case. We'll open it up, take a look inside. Again, this is always hard to do with one hand. So you can see got the light bulbs in there. Put my sock back on. Here's our metal halide lamp. It's a double-ended lamp. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. 
but on the actual light it tells you that it's a metal halide 150 watt bulb that's blue um, what else and then it was made in Japan thank you Japanese alright so next what we're going to do to install it is the same thing the same way we took it out we're going to stick um, this end in first let me uh, move the camera so we're going to take it push the pin in okay now yeah actually push it to the left because it's like a spring if it can move okay move this uh, metal piece out of the way a little push and there it's already in it's installed no problems alright so let me go ahead and clean the uh, glass cover and then we'll go and uh, reinstall that uh, back into the fixture all right I finished cleaning the uh, glass cover so let's get back to uh, installing this bad boy all right so I'm gonna just tilt the camera down here I'm gonna take our glass I'm gonna push the, the left spring out so that way I could get this in there I'm going to switch hands, grab the right spring, pull it out, slide it in there. Now the springs are holding the glass. I'm just going to make small adjustments, rotating it to go around the light bulb, like that. And then we're going to take our metal grill and slide it back in. Beautiful. I'm going to take your end plate and then just pop it back on to the end. That's really it. That's changing a metal halide bulb for the BioCube fixture. All there's left to do is just we adjust the light, so loosen the nut, bring it down, and then just tighten it back up. I'm going to turn the power on, switch on the ballast. And uh, we're just going to wait a few minutes and uh, see what this light looks like when it turns on in uh, three minutes. So, come right back once the light's on. Okay. One time we just turn on the light and uh, let's see it, um, the lamp warm up and see what color this actually gives us in the tank. So I think um, it usually says it takes about three minutes for the light to uh, get up to its actual color temperature, but uh, we'll see how long it actually takes. I mean, I can already see 
that the bulb is starting to turn a bluish color now. Alright, fish, it's time to wake up. No. It's morning time, it's time to eat breakfast. A clown's in there and the anemone. I think uh, the one on the right is the female, and the uh, one on the left right there is the male because it's significantly smaller than uh, this one right here. I have to say, wow, this bulb is starting to turn really blue. I am really liking it so far. I'm sure these corals are going to start growing even nicer with this new bulb. Um, one of the reasons I also changed the bulb was that um, I didn't change it at six months and it's almost been a year. I don't know, it's been too long. I've been too busy buying other equipment uh, for my BioCube. And uh, I started re recently noticing that I've been growing some. Uh, Nuisance hair algae. I got a little piece right there, and another piece right there. You know, little piece at the top of this rock, and that's really it. And um, I attribute that to the old metal halide bulb. So I was like, oh man, I bought a new bulb. I went to eBay. That's where I like to uh, my, my first uh, shopping spot is uh, eBay. And uh, I found the light bulb there, the cheapest, uh, with shipping, and um, it's a, an excellent bulb too. Remember, it's the the Hexarc Blue 14,000K. <coughs> excuse me, metal halide bulb, and it is uh, made by Phoenix right here. Focus. Thank you, Phoenix. All right. These are the, the ballast information. And uh, I have to say, wow, what a difference between this light bulb and the old light bulb. Um, <clears throat> you can see that it's much more blue. And I'm telling you that this blue is making this tank beautiful. Um, so I'm going to uh, wrap up this video. Uh, stay tuned, I have a new piece of equipment coming in later today, and um, that one's going to be a very, very exciting piece of equipment. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, so you're going to have to stay tuned to see what it actually is. So this is Archangel, signing out. Until next time, peace.